Hi, I'm David Gregory, the CEO of the Small Business Institute. Uh, today in the studio we have Anthony Turner to talk to us about the emergency portal. Anthony, can you tell us a little bit about the portal? Yeah, David, look, as, as you're very well aware, we spend about four years of our life through SBMS and TSBI helping uh, businesses get back on track after the Black Saturday bushfires and the uh, Victorian floods. And uh, one of the things that we found through that time was there was a lack of resources that were readily available to actually help business owners understand the key areas of disaster. And those are you know, planning, preparation, response and recovery. And a couple of things actually happened out of that. One is that one of my colleagues and I, we actually wrote a book called Are You Ready? Surviving Small Business Disaster. Um, but it also prompted some thoughts about, well, there is a variety of different types of resources that are available through the various emergency services like the SES, uh, Victoria Police, um, MFB, CFA and, and others. And we thought about it and we thought, well, maybe there is an opportunity here to create a, an emergency resource portal which is purely about things relating to business. And ha so we've created that in conjunction and partnership with the SES. Um, and the other agencies have now got on board and uh, so we're about to launch or, and in fact it is now launched and is on the TSBI website is the emergency resource portal. And so this is a portal where small businesses can access a broad range of tools and templates or, or information about what to do in, uh, in the case of a disaster. Absolutely. Um, what we've done is that we've gathered a whole range of business related resources. So. They, you know, for example, CFA have got things about fire and bushfire and, and emergency planning. Sure. Uh, Victoria Police have got a whole series of um, items about um, you know, crime and crime prevention within the business environment. Um, we've also got um, things like the SES. They've actually done some videos about the, um, with some case studies of uh, flooding and different elements of uh, disaster. So each of these resources are now available um, on the TSBI website. That's tsbi.com.au. Um, so they're in the emergency resource portal and uh, we've covered it under you know, half a dozen different headings. So we've looked at flood, we've looked at fire, um, we've looked at um, data um, and data loss. Data yep. loss. Um, we've looked at accident and illness um, and the other two go, I've gone out of my head at the moment, <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're actually all up there on the website. So this broad range of uh, tools and templates, are these things that businesses can use in their own right or do they need help in, in uh, being able to implement them? In the majority of cases, David, they can use them in their own right. So it's a matter of just literally download the resource, going through the resource um, and you know, some of those have got templates. Um, for the full members of TSBI, we're actually making available a complimentary copy of the ebook of Are You Ready as well. So that's got the whole disaster planning Fantastic. for three different types of disaster scenarios. So the first one of those is natural disasters. The second one of those is the man-made disasters as they've been called. Um, and that relates to crime and data loss and those sorts of things. And the third one is in the accident illness. And it, it actually takes through with a whole series of prompters for each of those scenarios. Um, but through the planning, preparation, response and recovery with a lot of prompters about things to think about that most of us, when we're in a non-disaster space, we actually don't think about those things. Uh, and I've, I've read the book and I, I've, I've got to say that uh, the beauty of Are You Ready is that it's written uh, from a business perspective. It isn't written through academic means and as such, it's something that the small businesses can easily understand. Yeah, look, it's, it's something that we intended to do when we, when we wrote the book. It was really... Um, I guess the thing that we realised that was missing most is was stuff that was actually readily accessible and understandable by small business owners. And that was the gap that we were looking to, uh, sure. to fill in, the, in writing that particular book. Excellent. Thanks.